Hello, my name is Sean Flanagan, and uh, I'm the uh, director and camera operator and editor of uh, 60 Seconds, starring Jeff Langton and Brett Branstadt. This is uh, Brett uh, Branstadt right here. Um, this is his first film. He's an extremely talented person. Um, uh, very good timing as an actor. He's an awesome musician. And uh, this was uh, really exciting for him. Uh, way back in uh, 2009, I got a call from Jeff. He says, hey, I'm coming home from L.A. And, um, uh, you know, I got this building. My family has this building. And it's such an awesome building. And... Um, I would love to, to film something inside this place. And uh, we didn't have a script. You know, he had a, a few thoughts uh, in mind, um, a few ideas, things that he wanted to do, things that he wanted to express, uh, like uh, yelling into the mirror, <laughs> laying on the bed. Uh, so, you know, I came over with my camera and um, just uh, started rolling on uh, some really cool stuff. Uh, we, you know, we split everything up, and we, you know, he just was he was sparring and uh, you know hitting the heavy bag, and and um, in this scene here where he's talking, he just uh, sort of went off and, and just started uh, uh, talking about um, uh, close situations in his life uh, that he had went through um, uh, with uh, a couple of his boxers. Um, I'm not sure if you know, Jeff Langton is a, um, uh, he spent 30 years in Hollywood as a, a martial artist, a stuntman, um, and a uh, boxing trainer, uh, appeared in films like uh, Price of Glory with Jimmy Smits, uh, he was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, and um, Maximum Force, Lionheart, uh, some really, really great movies. Jeff is a very intense person. He's very um, exciting to work with. He has a lot of emotion and he's very intense and he has a really good sense of timing, um, both as an actor and uh, as a fighter. Um, he's a big guy. I think, I, I, don't, I, think that, I think that people don't realize that he can actually move as fast as he does. So uh, when I got to the building, we, we, you know, there was no crew. Uh, n I was the only guy. Uh, I had a camera. I had no sensitive microphone, no sound guy, nobody. There was just uh, me rolling on anything that was exciting, like the, the jet airplane. Uh, so we just had Brett uh, walk around uh, the city streets, and we just... Um, rolled on some really cool things. Like I said, this is Brett's first time, so um, it was uh, quite an eye-opening experience, you know, when I told him, um, okay, look over here. Now stare over there. <laughs> now watch this. Now don't look over there. Now stay right there, and in three seconds, walk away. That's literally how we, we did a lot of Brett's stuff. As you can see here, Jeff was having a, a hard time with the light, uh, and uh, so that was kind of a cool shot. I never knew that uh, Jeff was a, a, ma a magician and, until I got there, and he started doing these cool little uh, tricks with a uh, with a rope and uh, a fancy little comic book. Um, he's just improvising this scene. He's just going off talking, and uh, you know, I thought about putting a voice on the other end and, and editing, but um, I thought it, it would be a little bit more organic, a little bit more real, not to to hear the other person on the other end. Uh, the whole movie sort of centers around the, the punching bag, uh, the building and the punching bag. Um, so that's why we sort of uh, do a lot of really cool things about that. did the same thing in a movie I did called Whiskey Slide, where one of the characters was a, a really huge uh, redwood tree. Uh, here I'm, I'm actually, I was looking at Jeff through a hole in the wall into his garage, and uh, there was no way for me to go in there with him and film. The place was just packed, uh, and he was cleaning it out. Here he's just going to take a walk, and, and um, again, we had no script. There was no script. Uh, we just made it up as we went. 
these guys here. Uh, they were hanging out in the park and they said that they would, um, you know, love to be in the video. And uh, we just, uh, you know, rolled on them. Really ironic that uh, Jeff was singing a song about a train and right down the street from the building there's a an old uh, steam locomotive painted on the side of a uh, wall there in downtown San Jose. This is Brett's POV point of view. Um, uh, originally this movie was not just one movie, it was actually three separate movies. It was three separate clips. Uh, the first uh, one we filmed, the black and white stuff, which is sort of edgy footage, it was standard standard definition footage, four by three. And um, so we had to um, sort of mix it in with uh, this footage here. This is widescreen, but it's not high definition, uh, but it went together pretty well. The original black and white footage where Jeff was uh, you know, yelling into the mirror, that was shot in uh, December of 2009. And it wasn't until um, January 5th, 2011, several years later, where we came back and, and filmed this scene. Uh, I had met uh, Brett through an old friend, and he's uh, a musician. And so I thought, uh, wow, you know, Jeff, Jeff might like this. And so I presented it to Jeff because the original story was his. And he said, yes, let's do it. Uh, we didn't know what we were going to do with the footage, if it was going to be a webisode, if we were going to make a movie or write a full-length script and then shoot it later. Uh, we were just uh, went out and we just, you know, continued to hone our skills, and uh, which is very important. You know, I think if, as for any up-and-coming filmmakers, I think it's important just to go out and shoot. Shoot, 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 edit, edit, edit. Just keep doing it, and eventually... Um, you get better at uh, you know timing and 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 sound. So we sort of come back to the beginning of the movie. The, the one of the reasons why I put the this clip at the very beginning of the movie in black and white because it's sort of symbolic to some of the other flashy back kind of scenes that are in black and white. Um, is I wanted I wanted to get the feel that uh, Brett, this sort of angel is uh, knocking on, on Jeff's door and uh, you know there's no answer so he's trying to get into uh, Jeff's life because um, Brett is, is an amazing uh, force um, he's just an amazing uh, person very gifted um, and as you'll see later or if you've already seen the movie you see that he's a, a very um, very very talented uh, musician plays a piano guitar um, just to name a few. Uh, this scene is rather long. Um, I did not want to cut it up. I, I did not want it to, um, I didn't want to cut to the chase. I wanted this to play out. I wanted him to walk in the front of the building. I wanted him to take his time jumping the fence. I wanted him to take his time coming around the back and then and then coming in uh, to the interior here. Um, I don't know, I grew up watching a lot of movies in the 70s and 80s, and uh, I really appreciated movies that had sort of a, a suspense uh, to it, and movies that had scenes that would uh, sort of invite you in and allow you to just watch and watch and watch, um, and just, you know, take out of it whatever you wanted to take out of it. Uh, a lot of what's happening today with the internet, YouTube videos, even reality television, everything's happening so fast. Um, for me as a, as a creator, I'm trying to adjust to that uh, because I like things to play out long, especially when people are in a scene and they're talking about something important. Um, so he's he's now entered, uh, as you can see here, he's now entered Jeff's space. And um, so now this obviously should be very familiar, you know, with the color of the walls and the sheets on the windows. It should be very familiar to, uh, to viewers that this is... Uh, you know, Jeff's uh, private space here. And so, you know, again, we didn't have a script, so we found ourselves, okay, let's, uh, Brett, you know, go up to the punching bag, sort of look at it, you know, just sort of tap on it, you know, make sure you drop your backpack, because that was a, a key uh, component in getting Jeff to actually uh, try to find Brett and give him the backpack back. Um, we, we did this take a couple times, 
uh, it was fairly tricky because, uh, um, again, I had no sound guy, and so we were just using the microphone on the camera. Uh, thank God uh, for Final Cut Pro, we were able to actually create um, some really good, um, uh, you know, sound um, within the um, software. I thought you playing guitar in the park. Yeah, so? I was wondering if you could teach me how. Teach you to do what? Play guitar. I don't know, you know, you shouldn't be coming to people's homes, you know, it's very dangerous these days. The, the scene is actually better now, uh, simply because of the audio uh, and the pacing of the scene. <laughs> I think that Brett was kind of, Brett was really uh, timid and shy around Jeff, because he had only met him on this day, and this was the first day that he had met him, and uh, so it was... Uh, kind of exciting to watch Brett. Brett did some amazing uh, reaction uh, reactions to Jeff and, and his uh, his tone of voice. My son Sean Jr. helped with the name tag on the uh, on the backpack. I didn't realize later that he spelled uh, Jeremy wrong. So that wasn't Brett's fault. <laughs> so here we are at, um, we wrapped the uh, Langton building and we went over to Brett's house and uh, did this little pickup shot here. Uh, just a little key tip here for upcoming filmmakers. It's important for characters to walk into and out of frame. And same with this, he walks in. It gives you a little bit more editing room uh, as opposed to starting on actors when they're uh, right in the frame. I think you can get away with a lot as an editor if you just have actors walk into and out of frame. Um, once they walk out of frame, you don't know where they are. They could be a foot away, they could be 10 feet away. This was very exciting um, here. Uh, we did a little slip up there. I filmed uh, Jeff coming in through the door and it was open. And then when we did his dialogue, it was really noisy so we had to close the door. So I had to actually put in the sound of a closing door when we were on Brett. Uh, otherwise people would say, oh, how did the door get closed? That's something we did not see visually, so we had to put in a little audio. Um, I love audio. Audio is great. So here, unlike the first three separate clips, um, instead of just having Jeff on the couch smiling and watching uh, Brett in action, we decided to create this sort of, it's not really a dream, it's sort of something that maybe, it could be a dream, it could be something that maybe he was remembering from yesterday, um, or it could be something that he's just imagining. And so, unlike, again, unlike the first three clips, um, we decided to do something a little different here. Um, so I, I brought uh, the guy in the park. He was watching Jeff play earlier. So we decided to introduce him and show a kinder, gentler side of Jeff uh, being a little bit more friendly. I think Jeff got a kick out of this. Um, you know, I, I would have liked this scene if the jet didn't wasn't going by. Uh, but that's what we had and, and that's what we went with. And that's what you get. Um, I think it's very, very hard uh, shooting with with uh, very low budgets, no money, no crew. You know, when you're so passionate about uh, people, you know, actors, and and the things that they say, and story, and wardrobe, seeing people come together, and uh, the, you know, <laughs> when people are just so excited about movies and they want to be a part of it. Uh, some amazing things happened. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, hopefully as we continue to move uh, forward uh, uh, with filmmaking here in Silicon Valley, uh, we'll try to keep up with Netflix. <laughs> We're just going to keep doing it. And when in doubt, you know, get that camera rolling and uh, just shoot it. Just grab that camera and shoot and pull out the software and just start editing. Uh, it takes time. Thank you.